Welcome back everyone. This weekend is going to be crazy for summons. We've got a two time sacred event happening above me. So we're going to have a 12% chance to get a legendary champion instead of a 6% from a sacred shard. But then for one day, you're going to have a 10 times chance to get a martial ed. And then for the next day, you're going to have a 10 times chance to get Duchess Lilithu. Let's read what they wrote here. This weekend, we're launching a few events simultaneously. This Friday, we're planning to launch the two times events for Sacred Shards. This event will go live for 72 hours. On Saturday, we're planning to launch a 10 times summoning event for Masha Led out of Sacred Shards. And then on Sunday, that'll run for 24 hours, right? And then on Sunday, we're also planning to launch a 10 times event for Duchess Lilithu from Sacred Shards. <laughs> that event will be active 24 hours. These events always go live Friday night for me, stateside. That's like Friday early morning or Friday 1 a.m., 12 a.m., whatever that is. So it goes Friday night for me here in Japan, for them in the Ukraine as well. And then on Saturday, probably 24 hours, it will be. It'll be 24 hours after you see the portal light up. Then they'll do a 24-hour period where it's still a two-time for Sacred to Summon. 12% chance to hit it that we'll be able to get a Ma Chalet. I really don't want to show you his gear. It's really sad what I have on him right now. I have showcased him in many videos going through Fire Knight, getting through the Doom Tower. It doesn't matter. This dude is insane. So for 24 hours on Saturday, you're going to have a 10 times chance to get him. Not only that, but with the sacred event going on, a 12% chance to get a legendary. If you have a Duchess, then try to go for him. If you if you don't have either, go for a Duchess, guys. Duchess Lilithu is everything. Martial Ed can be used on Clan Ball's teams. He can be used to get through any kind of content in the game. Top tier for PvE content. For PvP content, he can still be really good. But it's insane here with the Leech and the Fear. It's on a two-turn cooldown because he gets to take a turn. And then this attack attacks everybody whenever there's a leech up on the enemy. And then this attack hits very hard. He's got a really good aura for dungeons if you're using him to go through Fire Knight, Dragons, all the rest. Can do well for you. But Duchess, come on. You know about Duchess. I'm pretty sure on Sunday it's going to be a heavy, heavy summoning day. Here's our Duchess right now. We've got her loaded up with 321 speed, 618 resistance. She doesn't need anything, right? Duchess really doesn't need a lot. All she needs to have is some speed, and she can carry you from beginning, clan boss, everything. In game, beginning game to end game. Same thing with Marshall Ed, though. He can he can carry you really through this. But for the most part, everybody's gonna be going for Duchess. Just top top i mean they're both top tier i don't know what to say i don't know what to tell you they're both amazing try to get them both if you can but i wish kind of duchess was first on saturday that way we could try to get her and if we if we do get her we could save the rest of our shards for masha led on sunday man it's too bad they didn't do it that way unfortunate but that's okay it's gonna be a fun weekend let me know your thoughts on this event it's one of the most exciting events that i've seen in a while it really is and if you don't know anything about duchess if you're new to the game if you're new to martial led i'll bring out some new guides on these champions tomorrow we'll get that going along with ninja ninja's coming out for all of our accounts tomorrow so it's going to be a very busy next few days thanks all so much for watching please subscribe if you haven't and i will see you guys all in a video soon